conventional gimbal mechanism with three degrees of freedom is composed of three rings. The outer large blue ring supports intermediate red ring. The intermediate red ring supports the inner small green disc. This structure composed of three circular layers can be bulky and heavy. The intermediate red ring is larger and heavier than the inner green disc, and the outer blue ring is also larger and heavier than the intermediate red ring. So the rotational velocities of each ring cannot be completely the same. The outer blue ring's velocity tends to be smaller than the intermediate red ring's velocity and the inner green disc's velocity. If actuators such as motors to move the inner green disc and the intermediate red ring are deployed on each part, their motion ranges tend to be limited because of the cables for power supply and control signal transmission of the actuators. These cables can mechanically interfere with the outer blue ring and hinder the smooth and wide motions of the inner green disc and the intermediate red ring. The spherical gear can solve these problems with its symmetrical shape. The motion range of the spherical gear can be much wider than the motion range of the conventional gimbal. The spherical gear has much smaller total size and weight than the conventional gimbal. The spherical gear's inertia is also much smaller than the conventional gimbal because it is composed of smaller number of components and most of its weight is deployed near its center. Thus, the spherical gear can realize very smooth and infinite rotations around pitch, roll, and yaw axes. These are the advantages of the spherical gear compared to the conventional gimbal.